Hello and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today I'm going to be sharing with you an extreme before and after of painting a piece of wood furniture. I get asked all the time how I do this so I wanted to give you an updated video. But if you're new here go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and then we're going to jump straight into today's video. Okay, so here is a quick look on how the living room is starting. The piece we're gonna be working on is that coffee table. Don't get me wrong, I love that coffee table. It looks beautiful in our living room. I don't want you to think I don't like it. What I don't like is the glass. It just stays so dirty and it's so loud when we put drinks down and we play games here a whole lot. So we just needed something a little bit different for our family that would function better. So I got on to a Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist, but Facebook is where I found the piece I was wanting. So just search that site daily until you find something you like. And sometimes that takes a while. I will say lately it's been taking me longer to find pieces. I feel like there's just less inventory out there, but definitely just stick to it, stick to your budget. Um, right now you can see what it looks like without a coffee table. I love it this way, but we just use ours too much to leave it like this. Once you've bought the piece you're going to work on, definitely make sure it fits the space before you start working on it. You don't want to waste all your time and supplies on a piece that doesn't fit in the space. So definitely just take time, bring it in, move out whatever's around it, and make sure you like how it looks and feels in the space. The next step is to clean it. So I want to thank Jaws for sponsoring this part of today's video. Typically, I would just take the Jaws hard wood cleaner, but just with everything going around, I definitely want to use the disinfectant. Now, this is the only one that's not non-toxic, but that's okay. That's the way I like my disinfectant. I need it to work. But if you've never heard of Jaws, they have a whole line out and it stands for just add a water system. So they're all about saving plastic and you just use pod refills to refill the bottles you already have, which I think is amazing. So it's eco-friendly, it's pet safe, and it's non-toxic. So it's a win-win. So when you're using the disinfectant, this is the only one you have to spray and leave for about 10 minutes so it can do its job. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it down and let it sit. Okay, and while that's sitting, I wanted to show you how you refill the bottles. It's super easy. So all you're gonna do is take out the old refill pod, or if it's your first time, you'll just put one in. And there is a fill water to here. And that's just where you're gonna fill up the water to. You can just use your faucet water. It doesn't have to be anything special and just fill it to that line. And then all you're gonna do is drop that pod into the bottle. And as you start to screw on the lid, you're gonna see the product start to fall into the water and it is so satisfying to watch. I love doing it. This one isn't near as bright because it's yellow, but it's so fun on like the purples and the blues and the greens. Um, but I've been with this company for a few years and I absolutely love their product. I love what they stand for. I love the people that work there. Um, I do have a discount code for you guys. So if you've never tried it or you just need refills, all you have to do is use Ashley 25 for 25% off. Um, I'll have that link down below in my description box. But thanks again to Jaws for sponsoring this part of today's video. You are going to see me use another product further on in this video, so don't click off yet. It's actually my favorite product that they have ever had. 
Now that you have the top and the sides clean, don't forget to flip over your furniture and clean underneath it, especially if you bought it from somebody else's house. Um, I think we all forget to do this sometimes. And normally there's like spider webs and all of that stuff down there and you definitely don't wanna be bringing that into your home. Plus, once you're done working on this project and it's nice and clean and painted, you know it's safe to be in your home and there's no critters on it. So just take a few moments, grab your vacuum and get it cleaned up. The next step is to take it to your workspace. So sometimes I do this outside if weather permits. Weather's not on our side right now, so we're just gonna take it out to our garage. Now it's time to start prepping your piece, and this is really important. This is how well your finished product's gonna look, how long it's gonna last. So definitely make sure you sand it or degloss it. I have this liquid sander and I love it. I swear by it. You can sand things, it's super easy, but on a piece like this that has so much detail, it would be really hard to sand inside all of those like nooks and crannies. This is also really good if you're gonna be like repainting your kitchen cabinets and you don't want to like sand dust everywhere. Now you do need to ventilate really well. You can't tell here, but I have our garage door open off to the side. So just be careful when you're using products like these. This step's gonna be optional. Now for my piece, it has a ton of detail. If you just have like a normal um, rectangular coffee table or piece of furniture that doesn't have a ton of like nooks and crannies in it, you don't need to do this step. Or if you just wanna spray paint the whole thing and not use like wall paint on it, that's an option too. But the way we're gonna show you is I do wanna have the paint that's on our cabinets and our kitchen. But I wanted to take a can of white spray paint and kind of spray in all those nooks first because they're gonna be really hard to get to. I've painted furniture for quite a few years. I did this on the side as a stay-at-home mom just to make extra money and made a decent amount. So you can find pieces at like garage sales for like three to five dollars and then sell them for like a hundred. And that's what I did for a long time just to make extra cash and to pay for Savannah's dance class and stuff like that. So I just knew it'd be easier to take that spray paint and get it into those areas. Things got so complicated. Once you apply your first coat of paint, whether that's a primer or a spray paint or just a white paint, that's when you start seeing all the flaws. I feel like white really shows flaws too. So that's when I take a sander. The one I'm using is just like a piece of paper sander and it was a packet from the Dollar Tree. I've had it for years. I just rip a piece off and I start sanding it. It is gonna mess up the paint a little bit for this first coat, but like I said, I'm just using this as a primer because when this is finished, I don't want any bumps or scratches. I want it to be super smooth. Before moving on to the next step, make sure to dust all of that off. So your paint's dry, you've sanded it. Now take just like a paper towel or a cloth and just make sure you get all that dust off. Otherwise, when you go to paint over it, it's gonna add a texture and that's not what you're wanting. If you're using paint you've already had, be sure to mix it up really well. If you don't have paint on hand and you're on a budget, go to any painting store and just grab a sample of paint. I promise you it's gonna be enough. Those small cans of paint will last a really long time. And so the painting begins. So as you can see, it takes a lot of prep work just to get to the painting part. Now I will say it does go by really quickly. All of these steps don't take long at all. It's just being patient and doing each step. 
um, so the end product looks really professional. So you can make it look really professional at the end or just something thrown together. So just taking a few minutes to prep it really does make a difference and then your paint's not gonna chip over time or crack or just look messy. So definitely just slow down a tad bit Never start a painting project if you have a lot to do. Save it for on a weekend or a rainy day when you're just like stuck at home. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Sat beside in your car in the backseat. Wide awake is the way that you left me. The biggest tip I can give if you want to do projects like this just to make your own more beautiful or if you want to create these pieces to sell and make extra income, whatever reason it is, is you have to keep your supplies on hand. It's just going to be so much easier to start if you have them ready to go. Um, starting painting does take a little bit of motivation, so it's nice when that like clicks you can just head out and start working on it. So go buy Dollar Tree, go buy Lowe's or Home Depot or Walmart and just get paint brushes and get a few different sizes. Grab some sample paints, grab some spray paints, get some painter's tape, all of that stuff and having it on hand is gonna make projects so much easier and it lasts a while too. So just because you're buying all of that doesn't mean it's only gonna last for one project. It's gonna last for multiple projects. So just grab those supplies and you'll thank me later. So my spray painting method didn't work perfectly. There were still some areas in there that looked pretty dark. So I ran and grabbed a paintbrush from Savannah to get down in those nooks. So right here, what you're looking at, I took that little paintbrush in. If I take you around to the side, that's how it would be if I didn't use that little paintbrush. Now, some of you may like that look, so keep that. If you like that where you can really see the detail, for me, it just looks so much more clean and crisp this way, but this is for your home, so you do whatever works best for you. Have this feeling, feeling haven't felt for so long to go hold on me and won't let go I've been sleeping now you have to just let it dry and this part can be so hard if you don't have much patience like me but if you go out there too soon if it's really wet you're just gonna wipe off the layer of paint that you put on or if it's almost dry you're gonna wipe the brush on it and it's gonna give it a weird texture and start like messing it up so just make sure it's fully dry to the touch before you start putting on your next coat of paint so I like to go distract myself. I had ordered these new um, food storage containers. I loved the set I had. I've just had them for a few years and the lids were starting to tear. And while I was ordering, I thought I might as well add a little pink up there. So I ordered these from Amazon. I'll throw them down below in my description box if you wanna check them out. I did hand wash these before I put them away just in case you're curious.
I was also needing a few more oven mitts and a few more hand towels, so I thought I'd go ahead and order once again just a little bit of pink to add some fun color in there. I did go ahead and just roll these up and put them in there immediately just for the video so you could see exactly what it looked like, but then I took them out and went and threw them in the washer. I definitely like to wash things um, before we use them just because of shipping and things, but I wanted you to see how it would look since they just came in. Um, I'm super happy with all this pink. I think it's so much fun. You're gonna see here in a second when I open up the drawer, some of my oven mitts are getting really dirty and that's actually on my list for spring cleaning. So I'll be cleaning those in Sunday's video. I'm gonna do a really deep clean with me, like spring clean. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video this Sunday. Now we are heading back outside into the garage. We're gonna add that third layer of paint. Um, every layer of paint gets easier, I feel like. Now you're just kind of doing touch-ups and making sure there's no brush strokes. It really does get easier. I will say no matter what kind of paint or primer you buy, it typically always takes me like three coats, if not four. I don't know why that is. I'll buy paint that says only one layer for full coverage. It's never that way. So if you've bought that, just so you know, you don't have to. I feel like no matter how expensive paint you have, you're gonna have to do around three coats. Once you're all done painting and you like how your furniture looks, definitely wash your paintbrushes immediately. If you don't have time to wash them, at least grab like a plastic cup and put hot soapy water in it and let it soak until you can. But the faster you can wash these, the longer they're gonna last. And you do not wanna spend a ton of money on brushes. They are already so pricey. So definitely just take some dish soap and some hot water and scrub them out immediately so you can use them again on your next project. Just a little side note, if you guys have bought my red aspen nails, I wanted to show you right here, like I'm scrubbing <laughs> these paint brushes in a super hot water with soap and they are not budging at all. So this is still a few days later and my nails are still on great. I feel like those nails last so long. I have my link down below in my description box. If you guys are looking for some amazing nails that last two to three weeks, you can do them at home in like 10 minutes. It's like a $13 at home mani. I think they're incredible. So like I said, I'll have that link down below, but I just wanted to show you, I do not wear gloves and they still stay on.
After I finish washing out all my paint brushes and all that paint's been in my sink, I like to go ahead and clean it out really well just so nothing sticks in there. I do have a stainless steel sink, so it would probably be fine, but I just think it's safer to do it that way. And then I love using my Jaws granite cleaner on my stainless steel. So especially in my sink, the smell is incredible. Out of all the scents, this is by far my favorite. It makes your stainless steel so nice and shiny. And what's nice about your kitchen sink is sometimes it can get a smell just from like all the water and food going down the drain. If you spray this on it and wipe it out, it is just the best scent. Now it's a finally time to bring in your piece of furniture. This is always the best feeling when you've spent all day working on a piece. Um, we did complete this in one day. Almost every painting project I've ever done has been in one day if I've started early. Now, if you're starting in the evening, you're probably not gonna get it finished, but if you start in the morning time, you'll have it done to bring inside. As you can see, this piece came with an Italian marble slab, so we took it out to paint and Chase is putting it back in. It is so heavy and so nice. I don't think I ever mentioned this, but we got this whole piece for $75 and then all the paint and supplies I already had on hand. Um, and I could probably easily sell this piece for 200 here in Oklahoma. So if I wanted to flip it, I could, but I don't, I wanna leave it in here. Um, the shape of it is actually the exact same hexagon on my backsplash. And then the marble on it is also what's on my fireplace. So I just feel like it was perfect for here. But the very last step you're gonna do is clean it up and decorate it. So I'm gonna take that Jaws granite cleaner again. It's good for all your like stones. So if you have granite or marble, it is safe to use on that. You can read the back label or click on their website if you wanna just read everything about it to make sure, but it's nice and safe. But here is a photo of the before and after. It is night and day difference, and it just took a day's worth of work, and we are so happy with the way it turned out. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you learned some good tips and tricks. Let me know if you guys ever flip a piece of furniture or tag me over on Instagram. I would love to see your before and afters. Um, thanks again to Jaws for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to click on their link down below and use my coupon code for 25% off your order. You will not be disappointed. They have the best products and they have amazing um, color coded matching rags. So you can grab those to go with the products as well. But I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Just call on me